Today I watched Akira Kurosawa's samurai classic, The Hidden Fortress. This film is often cited as a big influence on Star Wars, mostly due to its framing of the epic story through the eyes of its two lowliest characters, in this case, two greedy peasants in Star Wars R2-D2 and C-3PO. But in this video, I want to celebrate The Hidden Fortress on its own merit. This marks Kurosawa's fourth samurai picture after Rashomon, Seven Samurai and Throne of Blood. However, I believe The Hidden Fortress is the first time Kurosawa is concerned with entertainment, humour and style above human behaviour and morality. It is a much more light-hearted affair than his previous pictures, but it feels like the work of a true master of their craft, just like John Ford with the Western or Hitchcock with the suspense picture. This is Kurosawa's first film in Toho scope or widescreen, and it looks absolutely gorgeous, not only in the mountains, meadows, and forests that act as the backdrops, but also in the way characters are spread out on the screen for dialogue scenes, adding much more depth to the images. And with even more space on the screen, the period detail of costumes, armor, and Edo period villages are even more detailed now than ever. The score by Masaru Sato is the most exciting and bombastic in a Kurosawa film up till this point. If you ask me, Toshiro Mifune, who has appeared in every Kurosawa samurai picture up to this point, is as captivating a screen presence as Robert De Niro or John Wayne, but this film is arguably stolen by Misa Uehara as Princess Yuki, easily Kurosawa's strongest female character, certainly up till this point, and probably for the rest of his career too. She is not motivated by love, but only for the honour of her clan. She goes through great growth in the film, starting as headstrong and angry, and matures into the noble leader that her clan needs. The two peasants, Matashchi and Tahe are along for the journey too, and their buffoonery provides the film with plenty of humour. On paper, the film has a simple plot. The heroes are wanted behind enemy lines looking for a way home. But along the way, the characters get into duels, rebellions, fire festivals. They're in prison. They make new friends along the way, including old enemies. There's an extended gag in which the princess pretends to be mute, so the two peasants will not know she is the princess. All of these shenanigans endear us to the characters and enrich the adventure. It makes sense then that the Hidden Fortress concludes with an ending that is quite lovely and easily Kurosawa's most optimistic optimistic yet. The two greedy peasants are rewarded for their bravery, with one gold piece that they are asked to share. Up till this point, they have squabbled over who gets to keep the money, but now, humbled by their adventure, finally trust each other and laugh together as the film ends. The Hidden Fortress is not a film that needs deep analysis, for it is simply a beautiful, thrilling and endlessly satisfying piece of samurai cinema.